Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Watch out. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I'm currently in Delhi, India, and this place is crazy. So I thought that I would take you to one of its craziest and most haunted locations. wild pig and I'm hoping that they're safe ones they look friendly there's heaps of them they're a little bit cute a little bit okay so we've actually just found the ruin it's just behind me it has a big gate which I know is the only entry and it looks locked and there's also security guard hanging around out the front so we're gonna shut the camera off for a little bit and go talk to him and see if we can get in hopefully we figure it out what the f where did that come from he's got horns is that bad well I think most cows have horns. I don't think I don't think it will be mean. Approach okay. with caution. It just could have given me some warning there. Just call me and there's a huge cow. Is that a cow or a bull? It might have titties. Oh yeah, it's yeah. got an udder. It's a cow. So it's in pigs and cows and little squirrel almost like chipmunks. I don't know what they are, if you know what they are please let me know because I think there's the cutest little things but this is cool just behind me is a fortified wall surrounding the Bulba Tyre, which is a 14th century inn or hunting lodge built by royalty and supposedly one of the most haunted places in Delhi Although this place is basically a ruin, it is also a protected archaeological site. Now, this area would have been very dense forest back in the day, although it's not really anymore. There's a small park uh, still there, but that would have been used, this whole area would have been used for hunting when the royals went out on their expeditions. This place does have quite a few different ghost stories, and some of those ghosts that are thought to haunt it include the royals. So some people say there is a queen that was mistreated and held here by her king during her life. And after her death, she remained trapped within the walls of the fort. Other people say that there is a king that haunts this place and his reason for haunting it is a little bit different where it was a place that was very beloved and he was very attached to in life because he enjoyed hunting so much. Yet another ghost fought to haunt this area is that of a former female caregiver who used to take residence right here. And after her death, she continued to haunt the place. Now some say that her name being Bu Ali Bharti is related to the name of the fort here. Our final ghost story relates to a tribal woman who lost her way and ended up here at the Bulba Tyre. And I said she was very sick upon her arrival and she eventually died. And ever since many people have claimed to sight her around here and hear her crying out in the dark of night. Some of the most commonly reported paranormal occurrences to happen here at Bulba Tyre are apparition sightings, including shadow figures, within and outside of the walls. We've also got a lot of people who have reported disembodied voices that includes just talking as well as screams and cries. And there was also a myth that security guards here could never last more than one day on the job. And that one may have been debunked because there was a security guard here when we rocked up, but we don't know if it's his first day or not. <laughs> cool, time for an update. The talk with the security guard didn't do so well and I think that was just because there was a bit of a language barrier. What we got from him was that it is closed now and we can't go in and he kind of pointed to this park which is right next to the fort and said uh, something about a photo booth so we're going to walk around in here and look and see if there's some kind of information centre or something that might allow us or grant us access and we'll be able to get in. There's this sign in Hindi, there's some others with English on that I can understand but 
yeah, I don't really know what we're doing. We're just gonna have a look around. Check out this dog. <laughs> right up here. <laughs> There's a lot of cute dogs around. A really weird bird. Ooh, it looked at me. That freaky blue crow thing just came and swooped Jared. So we're getting out of here. This place is a park right next to the hunting lodge and I know all the ghost stories center on the hunting lodge, but this place actually looks kind of creepy. It, it's just very dense and overgrown and the way the trees look, I don't know, it's just a little bit creepy. It also looks sort of misty and I don't know if that's like maybe the air quality or something, but it looks hazy and spooky. Okay, we have no idea what we're looking for though I'm kind of enjoying this little walk because Delhi has been crazy and totally different to anywhere I've been before so it's nice to come into a park where it's pretty chilled out and we've seen some guys playing cricket and we just don't know what we're looking for though so I don't know what's next we haven't found the info booth that we're looking for but we have found a massive fat pig <laughs> We are literally just in a park. I don't think there ain't no info booth here. <laughs> so we're gonna go back and just talk to the security guard again and hopefully we can get inside for a look sorry this video has been a bit weird i know it's supposed to be a paranormal video and it's basically turning into amy reacting to animals <laughs> but let's see if we can get in So we're inside now and we're very lucky to be allowed in here. There's a security at the front and the gates are all closed off and it's closed because they're doing some repairs inside. And I think the only reason that the security guard let us in is because there was a bunch of kids that threw rocks at us and I reckon they felt sorry for us. But we're in, so we've only got a few minutes. We'll uh, take a bunch of photos and panning just to show you guys what we can show you. level of this fort now and it's kind of cool because we can see into the whole courtyard down here just believe this was either an inn or a hunting lodge built uh, by a king so back in the 14th century so a long long time ago so you'd assume it would be pretty grand kind of spot back in the day and it was apparently surrounded by a very dense thick forest where they would do a lot of their hunting. What is this? Is this maybe a toilet? I think it is. 
It seems like one because it has two sides. I think it was a toilet. At one point, yeah. Okay. It's pretty cool in here. I'm super happy that we made it in because I didn't think that we were going to be able to check it out inside. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really happy and excited that I was able to make it inside. Though I am sorry that I couldn't show you any more in there or spend a bit longer or take you here at night. I really hope that you did enjoy this video though. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. That'll really helps me out. If you want to read a bit more about ghost stories, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time.